This is a solution video for abstract inequalities, exercise 12.5. It's from page 474 and it's question 21. To begin with in this question, they're giving us a fact, which is that A is greater than B. And on the basis of this, I want to prove that A cubed minus B cubed times A minus B is always positive, which I can write as A cubed minus B cubed times A minus B is greater than zero. Well, first of all, if A is greater than B, I can take this inequality and I can manipulate it. And I can say that it must mean that a minus b is greater than zero. So that's just bringing the b across to the left hand side. So this means that a minus b is positive. Notice that one of my brackets in the statement that I'm trying to prove is the a minus b bracket. And I can also state that if a is greater than b, that a cubed is greater than b cubed. Now we did a little bit of work on that it's from page 460, question 13. So if you have that question done, and I think I may even have a video made of it, you can go back and refer to that if needs be to convince yourself of this. And of course, if a cubed minus, sorry, if a cubed is greater than b cubed, well then this implies that a cubed minus b cubed is also greater than zero. And that's my other bracket in the statement that I'm trying to prove. Now, I know that if I have two positive numbers and I get their product, it must be a positive number. So on the basis of a minus b being positive and a cubed minus b cubed being positive, I can definitely say that a cubed minus b cubed times a minus b is also positive. And I'm just giving my reason there to back myself up. The product of positive terms is positive. And of course, in this question, we're operating in the real world universe and the real number universe, if you like, because they've said that a and b are elements of R. On the basis of this conclusion, I then want to go on to prove that a to the 4 plus b to the 4 is greater than or equal to a cubed b plus a b cubed. And it's pretty easy to achieve this proof in this part of the question because it just requires us to really multiply out our statement that we were asked to prove in the first part of the question. So multiplying out there, I get that a to the 4 minus ab cubed minus a cubed b plus b to the 4 is greater than 0. And I'm just going to reference where I'm getting that from. I'm getting that from this line here. And now it's simply really a question of just rearranging this statement. So I can say that implies that a to the 4 plus b to the 4 is greater than a cubed b plus a b cubed. Now, if it's greater than it, well then that can also be stated as that it's greater than or equal to it, which is what they're specifically looking for in the question here. If something is bigger than something else, well then it's bigger than or equal to it. And we're kind of going for the bigger than option out of the bigger than or equal to.